now still shut down by the pandemic is most air travel and other businesses and events that would require a quick and effective coronavirus test. Now, there's one possible answer. An Israeli startup has developed a very inexpensive and currently 80% reliable coronavirus test based on odor. Apparently, just blow in a plastic bag, and after 30 seconds, you have a result. Well, more on this in this report by our floor, Citruk. A startup with a smell about it, but in the best possible sense. This company, founded in 2017 in northern Israel, has developed sensors that allow odors to be deciphered. And it could play a vital role in curbing coronavirus. Jonathan um, developed a scent recognition platform, just like image recognition, just for smell, for odors. And this platform is already in use for industrial settings to detect different situations in a factory if there is a pollution or a leak. It is also used for healthcare applications. One example is detecting ovulation. From the start of the coronavirus pandemic, NanoSen researchers tried to identify the olfactory signature of coronavirus. Corona and other upper respiratory viruses have a smell pattern. There is no literature on this. And we chose to go with the nose because that's where the virus develops initially when it's received in the person. It changes the pattern of the smell of the nose and we detected that smell. It's a very uh, special machine that can uh, take uh, the breath and gives you the molecular signature of the breath. We collect on this tube a breath sample of someone who is sick with COVID-19 and we run this tube uh, on this machine so I, get, uh, I can uh, start uh, getting the signature of the disease actually. The company has developed a simple and rapid test based on breath analysis. Blow in the bag. Then I'll connect it to the machine. After 30 seconds, you get the result. But at this stage of development of the test, we prefer not to communicate it. NanoCent is working in cooperation with the largest hospital in Israel, Sheba Tel Hashomer, located in the suburbs of Tel Aviv. The most important thing is a rapid diagnosis that we can do to mass, a, a, a large mass of people very rapidly. And this is the whole idea, that within 30 seconds we can say you're highly suspected or, okay, you can go in, no problem, go into the shopping mall or, again, airplane, whatever it is. I think that's the really more, most important right now thing that we need because we currently don't have yet vaccination. According to a study of 350 people, the test is 80 percent reliable, but the company hopes to further improve the accuracy of its algorithm in order to detect at least nine out of 10 cases. So the process of scent recognition is just like the process of training a dog. You'd bring the dog the smell many times, the smell of a person, and eventually he would learn to recognize this smell, that person or those people. In the corona case, we're training this dog or our scent recognition platform with the smell of the breath of corona. A new study is planned on 2,000 people in cooperation with French and Italian hospitals. Nanosen hopes to market its test by September for less than a euro. The startup has already been contacted by Charles de Gaulle Airport, the United Airlines company, and even football leagues, all of whom wish to benefit from its technology.